All right, fantastic. Let's get started. So as you know, I love trading the wheel options trading strategy. And hey, this week was a roller coaster for this strategy. This morning I woke up and my account was down $25,000. Now, please, you know that uh, I've traded a larger account. It's $250,000 in cash, $500,000 in margin. So $25,000 is not that much, but still, oh, what the heck, right? So in this episode today, we will talk about the wheel option strategy. We will talk about the three reasons why you would possibly lose money with this strategy and also how to avoid these mistakes. So super excited about this. Now let's jump right in and get to the account. So here you see my account. As you know, this show is about real money and real trades and I am still down $18,000. So it has gotten a little bit better since this morning, but down $18,000. So we'll take a look at these trades in detail. But first of all, let's talk about the three reasons why you would lose money with this strategy and then also how to avoid them. So there's three big mistakes that you can make when trading the wheel strategy. So the first is panicking. And uh, as I said, we will also talk about solutions to these mistakes and what you can do and what you should do right now if you are somehow trapped in a position and you say, what the heck do I do now? Because uh, as you know, we have our members area here. This is where we, we have our community. And I see that a lot of traders are right now saying, Arr! what the heck? So solution number one is don't panic. <laughs> <laughs> Easier said than done, right? But uh, it is so important, super, super, super important. This is what one of the members posted in our community. It's not a loss if you don't sell. So the worst thing that you can do going back to this is panicking and closing your positions at a loss. Don't do this. Don't close your positions. Evaluate what's happening. And uh, I will do this with you to see, okay, how bad is it really? So we will talk about this because the second mistake, let's just talk about it, is not having a plan. So I will go through my positions that I have and then I will show you what my plan is and uh, also talk about the third mistake and then some more solutions. So five positions right now in my account. Apple, AMD, DBX, GDXJ, and Ride. So let's start with AMD first because here is my plan. AMD, if it stays above 83.50 until the remainder of this trading session, which is 25 minutes, I'll make money. And uh, I want to write this down. So I want to show you my positions because you should do the same thing so that you know of what's happening to your positions, which ones are actually in trouble, which ones uh, might cause you some headaches and which ones are good to go. So first of all, we'll talk AMD. So if above 83.50, which right now seems that it is fairly likely I mean, we have 25 minutes uh, left in the trading session here. Of course, it could dip below 83.50, but it might not. Now, earlier this week, it looked ag ugly. This went down as low as 79. But you see, this is why it is so important. Don't panic. Don't panic. Just figure out of what's happening. So if above 83.50, nothing will happen. I will keep the whole premium. And uh, this, in my case, is 48 cents times 12 contracts. So this would be $576 in premium. And this would be for the week. So not bad at all. Let's move on to the second position and see how the second position is doing. And the second position is DBX, Dropbox. So Dropbox needs to stay above 2150. Let's take a look at the chart and see where we are with Dropbox. So Dropbox right now is trading at 2285. So it seems that we are pretty good there. And you see, wh why, why am I first talking about the positions that are okay? And this is really, really important. You see, in order to stay calm, in order to make sure that you're not panicking, focus on the positive first, right? I, I, I know if, if you're taking a hammer and you boom, smack one of your fingers, what do you focus on? the finger that hurts, right? But uh, you, you have four other fingers that are absolutely fine. So let's focus on what's going right for us. 
So if DBX stays above 2150, which is very likely, so then I would make I sold 47 of these options times 13 is $611 in premium. Okay, so not bad at all. Now let's uh, look at the other one, GDXJ. So what's happening with GDXJ? GDXJ in the beginning of the week, I got assigned. So last week it expired below my strike price. So I got assigned, as you can see, 2100 shares at 48. Now here's what I did with this. So let's let's forget, let's forget these shares for just a moment. And let's again, focus on the positive of what's working well for it. So I sold calls and this was the, the 49 call. So I sold it against the position and I collected premium. So how much premium did I collect for these calls? I sold 21 times 75 cents. So this would be $75. So this year is uh, $1,575 in premium. Good. So we are okay there. Now we still have the shares. These will expire worthless today because it is very unlikely. I mean, anything can happen here in the next 20 minutes, but it is very unlikely that GDXJ is jumping above 49. And since it is not jumping above 49, we're okay here. But yes, 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 I know you're right. These shares, are right now in trouble. So we're looking at this and we will take a look at our plan to see of what to do there. So let's talk about the next position. And the next position here is ride. So if it stays above 2150, I just collect the premium and nothing else happened. Well, that's not going to happen, right? Again, anything can happen in the next 20 minutes, but it is very, very unlikely that right now it stays below 2150. I will get assigned. 4,700 shares at 2150. So, and, and these will be again in trouble. So we need to deal with that at some point, but here's the good news. So I sold the 2150 put and for these I got premium and I got 47 times 42 and this is 1,974 in premium. So let's take a look at the last position and then we'll talk about the positions that are in trouble. So the last position here is Apple and Apple I did get assigned earlier this week. So I have 800 shares and I've not been able to sell any calls against it. So here I have 800 shares at 133 and also these shares right now are in trouble because Apple right now is trading at $124. So I got assigned here and ugh, <laughs> Apple is down. Not good. Let's see of what happened here overall this week. So this is what, what will happen today in my account. I'm getting all this premium and uh, we're adding it all up. So because overall it is a pretty darn good week. So this is $4,736 that I've collected this week. So it's a, it's an almost $5,000 week. I don't know about you, but this is not bad at all. And I know, I know you might be saying, oh my gosh, I mean, you, you're talking about making some money here, but what about all of these red positions here? All right, we'll, we'll take care of these right now. I promise, I promise we'll take care of these. So why don't we start with ride? And uh, this is where it goes back to what is the worst thing that you can do panicking? I, I mean, right now selling, right? If I would sell it right now, you see, instead of collecting the premium that I have here, if I would panic right now, instead of making money on ride, I would lose $8,272. I don't know about you. Would you rather keep the premium of 1,974 or would you lose 8,272? <laughs> don't know, right? For me personally, I will not worry about it. So here is where it goes back to what do we do? Follow your plan. So here's the deal. This is where it's super, super important. And I'll explain to you exactly my plan for these three positions that are in trouble. But before I do this, let me ask you, is this helpful at all uh, when I'm breaking it down and also show you the trades that I'm in trouble? If it is, do me a favor and click on like really quick because I see how many likes this video have. This way I will do more videos like this in the future. And if you don't like it, that's cool too. Uh, in this case, I will do other videos, uh, but if it is helpful, if I'm walking you through these trades step by step of what's happening here, then let's do that. So you got to follow your plan. And it here is where it is very, very, very important, right? I'm actually excited. I am excited 
to get a sign right. And in a moment, you will see why. But let me just show you one other thing here, which is absolutely important. When it is Friday and you're getting assigned, like I will be in right, this is what your reaction should be. Your reaction should be, yes, I am assigned because I want to own the stock. If you're getting assigned the stock, like I'm in right, I'm, I'm really, really happy about this. I'm happy about having GDXJ stocks. I'm happy about having Apple stocks. But if your reaction is this, that you say, oh my gosh, or your reaction might be this, like, oh my gosh, what have I done? If that is your reaction, then you violated the number one rule of the wheel club. And here's the number one rule of the wheel club. Don't sell puts on stocks that you don't want to own. <laughs> okay, wrong movie, but you get the idea, right? So let's take another look at my positions. Am I happy to own Apple stocks? Yes, I am. Am I happy to own AMD stocks if I would own them? Yes, I mean, they expire worthless probably, so it's not gonna happen. Would I be happy? to own GDX? Yes. Am I happy to own GDXJ? Yes. And am I happy to own right? Absolutely. Yes. Yes. Okay. So let's take a look here at uh, the stocks that I've traded thus far year to date. And as you can see, my profits year to date are around $43,000. Take a look at all the stocks. Feel free to take a screenshot because these are the stocks that I would not mind owning at all. And this is really the number one rule of the wheel club. So Apple, AMD, DBX, EWZ, EWZ GDXJ, HAL, Hasbro, IBM, uh, Nordstrom, Lumber Liquidator, Monster, Neo, Ride, Twitter, Uber, UIL, Weight Watchers, Win. All of these are good, solid stocks that I wouldn't mind to own. So let's talk about what do we do with Ride? Why am I so excited to own Ride? Right? And this is where it goes back to have a plan. So my plan is just follow the wheel trading strategy. And this means that after assignment, I will sell calls and collect premium. Very, very easy. So let me show you exactly why it is. And this is where we go back to mistake number three, not having a tool that helps you to make the best decisions. And this is where you know me, there's no secret. I use the PowerX optimizer and I will show you right now how to use it and why it is so important. So PowerX optimizer supports two separate strategies, the PowerX strategy as well as the wheel strategy. And part of the PowerX optimizer is the wheel income calculator. And this is so important. So I'm setting the buying power to 500,000 because that is the buying power that I have in the account. And I'm zooming in here a little bit so that you can see it a little bit easier of what I'm doing and what I do is here on the left hand side. So the stock is right. And again, I cannot do anything today. I need to wait until I'm assigned. But most likely I will be assigned at 2150, right? This is what we talked about. So we're writing it down there. So 2150, 4,700 shares. Now, what is the option strike price that I'm trying to sell right now? Well, it has to be at the price that I bought at or above. Let's take a look right now at ride and see how much premium we would get right now. I'm not doing it right now. I'm doing it on Monday because I need to make sure that I'm assigned these shares. But take a look at this. At 2150, the last traded price is 43 cents. So let's just say on Monday, right, will probably open at around this price. Let's just assume, right? So let's say on Monday, instead of 43 cents, I'm getting 40 cents. So I'm using the strike price here of uh, 2150 and uh, I'm selling calls for 43 cents. If I would do it, Here's what happened. Look at this. If I'm doing this, I would get $2,021 in premium. 
Holy cannoli! Are you getting excited about this? I'm excited about this. Are you excited to get a signed ride? I am excited to get a signed ride because right now, if ride stays approximately where they are, and of course, I know it's hypothetical today. Follow me on Monday. Monday, I'll be live again with Coffee with Marcus and we're going to follow up on this trade. But if I can get 40 cents, so let's ride this down. What is happening here? So right, I will get assigned. So this trade that is in trouble, it is not in trouble at all. I will sell calls at 21.50 and collect $2,021 for one week trade next week. Now, if right, then by next Friday is above 21.50, I just keep the whole premium. Now, let me see, how much was the premium? I keep this and I make this. This is uh, what, almost four thousand bleep dollars. <laughs> I mean, you get the idea, right? So, oh my gosh, this is amazing. So I would not make any money on the stock, but that is okay. So is this really in trouble if I make $4,000 in two weeks? I don't think so. So let's talk about GDXJ. We're doing the exact same thing. So GDXJ, I still have my position. So I got assigned at 48. So let's plug this in here. And uh, let me double check. How many did I get assigned here in GDXJ? 2,100 shares. Let's say that on Monday, GDXJ opens at around where it closes right now. And I will be able to sell the 48 call. So I'm selling the 48 call. Right now it is trading at 69 cents. Now there will be some time decay over the weekend. Let's say on Monday I can sell it for 60 cents. Do you think that this is reasonable? 60 cents around that? Okay, so let's plug this in. So uh, 2,100 shares and uh, let's say the strike price at 48 and uh, I'm getting 60 cents on Monday. So this means that I'm collecting an additional $1,260 with these two trades that are apparently in trouble next week if they're opening around where they close and that's often very likely. I mean on Monday usually we see a bounce back so they might even open better. But, but look at this. I'm getting what over three thousand dollars that I can make in one week by just getting a side. How do I love assignment? All right, so one trade that I have here that is not doing so well is Apple. So Apple uh, might in fact be in trouble, and let me just uh, show you of why that is. So if I'm going back to Apple, and uh, I got assigned Apple at 133. So I need to see do I get enough premium, and this is why. It is so important. I, I can't even stress this enough. How important it is to have the right tool. So this is where here, right? Follow the plan slash strategy. Follow the strategy. Have the right tool to make the best decisions. Instead of panicking and think, what the heck? Okay, uh, so you get the idea. Let's go back to the tool and let's talk about Apple. I bought it at 133. I bought 800 shares. And let's just see for the 133 strike how much we would get for next week. So right now we go for March 5th, uh, the 133 strike, and we get like 13 cents. Mm, that's not good. As you can see, I would only make $104. That's nothing. Uh, so this is why this here lights up in red and says, no good. This trade is no good. So out of the five trades that I have on right now, as you can see, this AMD with three minutes left in the trading session. Is this closing above 83.50? Yes, it will. DBX, is this closing above 21.50? Yes, it will. GDXJ, we don't care because we're making $1,200 next week and right, we make $2,000 next week. I don't care. So out of all these positions, Apple is the only one that right now is kind of a dirt in the account because I don't get enough premium when I'm trying to sell premium here. So that is okay. All I need to do is just be patient and wait until Apple goes up. Now, the important thing, when I put on the Apple trade here, did I expect this? Yes. And here's why. Take a look at what Apple did. Uh, so for Apple, it is not unusual. So earlier, this was in October, it had an, a 15% drawdown. So here, 15% drawdown and a little bit earlier there, Apple had actually, uh, it went down by what? 25%. So Apple, no surprise, it can move down to 25%. 
Did it come back? Yes. Did it take a little bit for it to come back? Yes. So do I believe that Apple is a solid company that I don't mind owning? Absolutely. So knowing that there's a 25% dip, so and right now we are only at an 18% dip. It's only an 18% dip. This is not bad at all. I mean, at least for me, I don't know about you. Uh, so for me, this is not a problem. This is expected. This is within the parameters because this is where we go back to rule number one of the wheel club. Don't sell puts on stocks you don't want to own because if you do this, then you're probably sitting there today like what have I done or you might say ah you see for me it is yes 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 because I make money on this anyhow is, is this making sense is this helpful at all so that you see how to deal with it and that you also see you know what the stuff that looks like is in trouble I want to say no I'm making money on this this one is a clear no I'm making money on this so this one here, yes, I need to wait until it bounces back, but really not a big deal. So collected premium this week, 4,736. So let's talk about collected premium for next week. And this is hypothetical because we have to wait until Monday before we can do this. But collected premium for next week, just on these two positions here, just on these two, without anything else, 2021 plus 1260 so we'll see so without entering any new trades we're already looking at 3281 i don't know about you i'm smiling big right so i'm fine i am absolutely okay making 4736 dollars this week and making an additional three thousand dollars next week not bad at all as you know my goal is to make fifteen thousand dollars per month and hey uh, if i can make uh, what here seven thousand almost eight thousand dollars in Two weeks, I'm well on my way. Okay, is this helpful at all? If it is, click on like. And also, as always, feel free to share this video with others who need to know this because I know that there's many wheel traders out there who might today panic, right? And uh, who, who are biting their nail or, I don't know, losing their hair, right? Don't do this, don't do this. What do you think why I have that much hair? Because I'm not worrying about it. Okay.